This is Hydrogen Tap. Looking through my lab window at my prize here, Focus Cell, as you're probably aware by now. So far, I'm on the clock with this, and what that means exactly is that I'm doing the mileage check without the O2 sensor modification. There's many ways I can get around the heat problem, which is what it's about, meaning the the water in the cell gets hotter, especially in this hot weather, and it makes the electrolyte work even better, which means to get more amps through the water. It creates more hydrogen at the same time. Whereas the bubbler isn't what I'm really interested in dealing with. Since I did make it, I've got a lot of people inquiring on it. Don't understand how it's working. and This will give you a better view of the hookup on it. The hose on the upside is coming out of the bubbler and going to the intake on the car just above the filter, the air filter, and you can see it right there. The other hose is coming from the hydrogen cell. One of the problems I have seen is that once in a while you get the foam that comes up and is drawn into that tube you see there into the bubbler which is no concern and there's ways of checking that so it doesn't happen but at this point in time there's very little of it and it all goes into the bubbler one of the interesting things that I've been working on while I'm running this test is if you look there's two lights there now a green light and a red light in the green light, I can't tell the sun's behind me whether you can see that it's on or not. The green light stays on all the time. That tells me that there's water in the hydrogen cell. So that's one of the things I did last night. I am running the test as we speak. And let's see if I can get a view of that. There's the other view, and you can see the green and the red. So now when the, if the cell runs out of water, it goes to red, which is pretty neat. I'm not having an automatic fill for a reason because I want to see what's going on. But this is one of the dumbed-down switches that I'm putting in. So everything's going to have lights, and there won't be, there won't be meters, so people won't have to fool with that. There's the odometer on the top. I set that back when I started this test. This is the test with the hydrogen cell running, again, without the O2 override. And you can see we've got 77 miles on it. And I'll bring that up to about 200 miles and do another refill. You'll see all the mileage specs on my site, hydrogentap.com. And if you go there, you'll see it says something like chart. And if you go there, you'll see the, all the mileage checks that I've done. I've got about a month worth of mileage on there before this test, and now we'll do, start doing it with the test. Again, this does not have the O2 bypass on it. So I discovered there's another light that I want to put on there, and that is... If any of the fuses blow, which I was thinking about before, I'm going to have a light that shows you exactly which one it is. Again, if you want to write me, it's John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. That's hydrogentap.com. Or you can go to the site hydrogentap.com. You can see pictures of the installation. That's the Honda installation. I think I've got some very good shots of it there. That's hydrogentap.com.
there are a few modifications I'm getting ready to make that's after these these tests goes through and that is I'll be working with the vacuum input so that it'll be going both through the vacuum and through the air intake. If the air intake works great then uh, I will probably stick with it for a while but we're going to see both and you'll see it all here as it's happening. If we get bad results from this test it's going to take about two or three then what I'll do is I'll start working on the hydrogen sensor, uh, the oxygen sensor, and I'm going to show you. Here's my splicing setups that I'm getting ready to use. That's to the uh, oxygen sensor, and I've got leads that go all the way around from there through the harness, which you can see the red, the red leads there. Those are all my leads, including the ones wrapped. That one there, those are the leads that go from the that goes from the water sensor, which is right there. So one lead you can't see it go there, but that's one lead that's going there, and it follows all the way around. And it comes through here. It goes through the cab. And also the there's going to be two leads that I've already got wired that go into the cab there, and that is for the oxygen sensor. And we'll see how that works out. Again, if you want to go to hydrogentap.com, you can see a lot of this installation is already up there in stills. Or you can write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com.